guys, welcome back to another episode of Restoration Talks. And in this video, we're going to be talking about attic remediation. Now, this one's a little bit a little bit tricky. Uh, we have our master technician Liam here with us today, and we're going to be talking about rest restoration and mitigation in in the attic. And um, this is this was kind of a little tricky, right, Liam? I mean, because you've seen a couple of jobs. Uh, you know, actually, you, you're just telling me about a roof where you had some kind of a burst in the pipe. Can you tell us a little bit about that and what in, what's involved? <laughs> Yeah, so um, in your attic, you know, you'll have your insulation and everything. You'll have your sheathing for your roofing and all of your joists and woodwork. And the scariest thing here is it's not a temperature-controlled area of your home. It's considered inhabited because you don't have any HVAC ducts in there. You don't have any AC up there. So you're exposed to the outside elements. And when you introduce moisture into that and then you have all of your humidity levels, it could fester and you'd never see it. Or, it, you know, you don't want to have it be out of sight, out of mind. You want to address it. You want to remove all of your damaged materials in there and then dry out the actual structure of the home. Yeah, I think that's very important to, to talk about. And it, it's actually, it's almost one of the trickiest part of the home, right? Because, I mean, most most homes, you know, especially here in Florida, uh, you know, the access to the attic is, is a little bit weird. You know, some, some people don't have full access or if you have access you know, you're obstructed with a lot of beams. So sometimes you may not even see the full extent of the damage unless you get a real professional uh, in there to investigate and, and, you know, take a look at what's going on. Um, you know, that could be a potentially serious problem. Um, you know, I, I've even seen cases where, you know, the, the, the leak starts from the roof, it goes into the attic, and then you st it starts seeping down to your ceiling. Uh, have you ever seen a case like that with the ceiling? Yeah, absolutely. And if you don't take care of it and it's an ongoing leak, you know, your insulation, it's like a sponge. It starts getting wetter and wetter and the heavier it gets, you can look at your ceilings collapsing in on you on that level. Yeah, a potentially dangerous situation. So that's really a great question by our community uh, at Restoration Talks. And again, I want to thank you, Liam, for answering our question from our viewers. If you guys have any questions uh, for our guest uh, or our restoration experts, please leave us a comment or question below. Uh, this is uh, another episode of Restoration Talks, and we hope to see you in another video.